Hey guys, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. Previously, we discussed the methods of minimizing errors in pharmaceutical analysis subject. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of pharmaceutical analysis, click on the links given in the description below this video. In this lesson, we shall discuss the accuracy and precision that affect the analytical methods or determinations. Some laboratory errors are more obvious than others, but there is error associated with every measurement. There is no way to measure the true value of anything. The best we can do in a chemical analysis is to carefully apply a technique that experience tells us is reliable. Repetition of one method of measurement several times tells us the precision that is reproducibility of the measurement. If the results of measuring the same quantity by different methods agree with one another, then we become confident that the results are accurate, which means they are near the true value. Systematic and random errors affect analytical measurements and the analytical results are basically estimates of the real content that is the true value. To describe the quality of the estimates in analytical measurements, the concepts accuracy and precision are used. In everyday life, it is common to use these terms interchangeably, but in pharmaceutical analysis, they have two completely different meanings. Accuracy. In a set of analytical measurements, accuracy or trueness is the closeness of the agreement between the value which is accepted either as a conventional true value or an accepted reference value and the value found. It considers systematic and random errors associated with the analysis. Accuracy has two definitions. More commonly, accuracy is a description of systematic errors or a measure of statistical bias. Low accuracy causes a difference between a result and a true value. Alternatively, accuracy as describing a combination of both types of the observational error above that is random and systematic errors. So, high accuracy requires both high precision and high trueness. Accuracy is the term used to describe the degree of deviation that is bias between the unknown true value and what is found by means of a given analytical method. In other words, it is a measure of how closely the result of an experiment agrees with the expected result. Thus, the accuracy expresses how well the analytical result matches the true value. Accuracy is expressed in terms of either absolute error or relative error. The absolute error E of the mean or averages X bar of a small set of replicate analysis is given by the relationship E is equal to X bar minus XT, where XT is the true or accepted value of the quantity being measured. Often, it is useful to express the accuracy in terms of relative error that is ER. Relative error is calculated by the formula absolute error that is x bar minus xt divided by the true value that is xt multiplied by 100%. Note that both absolute and relative errors bear a sign. A positive sign indicating that the measured result is greater its true value and a negative sign indicating the reverse that is the measured result is lower than the true value. Furthermore, accuracy cannot be determined by statistical means. The test protocol must be devised to include the necessary comparisons that is either the blanks or other methods. Analytical methods often may be divided into three groups based on the magnitude of their relative errors. When an experimental result is within 1% of the correct result, the analytical method is highly accurate. If the relative errors are between 1 and 5%, the method is moderately accurate and the methods of low accuracy produce relative errors greater than 5%. For the assay of a drug substance, accuracy can be determined by application of the analytical procedure to an analyte of known quantity, for example, a certified reference substance or a substance with a similar high quality. If the reference standard is not available, comparison of the results from the procedure to those obtained from another validated and well-characterized analytical procedure can be made. For the assay of a drug product or a drug substance in a formulated product, 
Accuracy can be determined by application of the analytical procedure to synthetic mixtures of the formulated product which is drug free to which known quantity of the drug substances that is a reference substance have been added. Alternatively, the procedure can be applied to the drug product spiked with known amount of the analyte. Another option is to compare the procedure results to those obtained from a well characterized or recognized or official procedure. For quantitative analysis of impurities, accuracy can be assessed by spiking the drug substance or product with known quantities of the impurities and evaluating the analyte recoveries. Alternatively, the accuracy can be determined by comparison of the results using the analytical procedure to those from another well characterized or official procedure. It is to be understood that the lower is the error or difference, the better is the accuracy. Small errors in an analytical method mean that the method provides good accuracy, the analytical result is close to the true value and this is of course preferable. To establish the accuracy of an analytical method or an analytical measurement, the true value has to be known or perhaps it should be called the true value. But how can the true value be obtained from unknown samples? There are several ways to do this. One is to let an experienced analyst do the analysis on the same samples with a well-tested procedure. This may give an indication of the true value. Another is to analyze the same sample with other methods and to compare the results. Good agreement between several methods gives a good indication but never a proof that the results are accurate. A final possibility is to add known amounts of the analyte as a chemical reference substance to the sample that is a standard addition. The analytical results before and after standard addition can be compared and this difference can be compared to the exact amount added to the sample. An example of typical accuracy data and acceptance criteria is given in this table. Note that this experimental design can also be used to measure the variation that is precision of the procedure. Precision. In a set of analytical measurements, precision is closeness of the measurements to each other. It is a description of random errors which is a measure of statistical variability. Generally, it is obtained by simply repeating the measurement. The precision of an analytical procedure is the degree of agreement among the individual results when the procedure is applied repeatedly to multiple sampling of the same homogeneous sample. Simply, precision is defined as the degree of agreement between replicate measurements of the same quantity. That is, it is the repeatability or the reproducibility of a result. If you measure the quantity several times and the values agree closely with one another, your measurement is precise. If the values vary widely, your measurement is not precise. Precision is usually expressed as the standard deviation that is SD or the relative standard deviation that is percentage RST of the mean M of a series of measurements as shown in the formula. Good precision does not assure good accuracy. According to the ICH, that is International Council for Harmonization document, precision may be considered at three levels. Number one, repeatability. Number two, intermediate precision. And number three, reproducibility. Number one, repeatability. The repeatability expresses the precision under the same operating conditions over a short interval of time. Normally, the same analyst with the same equipment carries out the analysis within one day within the same laboratory. For the assay or quantitative determination of impurities, precision is determined by analysis of multiple sample preparations. This precision is typically expressed as a standard deviation or a relative standard deviation. According to ICH recommendation, this should be done upon a minimum of 9 determinations within the specified range or upon the minimum of 6 analysis at 100% of the sample concentration. Number 2. Intermediate precision. Intermediate precision expresses within laboratory variations, which means the precision can be obtained by different analysts, different equipment on different days and so on within the laboratory. Normally, different analysts with different equipment carry out the analysis on different days. The intermediate precision is also called ruggedness. 
the effects of different and normal variations on the analytical results within the same laboratory need to be evaluated. Meaningful acceptance criteria based on the analytical procedure and its intended use should be established. Statistical approaches such as F-test and other more complex statistical techniques can also be used to assess the significance of differences of the results obtained under these conditions. An example of typical precision data and acceptance criteria is given in the table. In this experimental design, both repeatability and intermediate that is ruggedness precision can be evaluated using percentage relative standard deviation and percentage difference of averages respectively. And number three, reproducibility. Reproducibility expresses the precision of a procedure between different laboratories at different sites that is collaborative studies. This precision is used for standardization of the procedure and involves collaborative studies among multiple laboratories at different sites. The extent of study and the number of laboratories selected depend on many factors including the complexity of the procedure and the intended use of the procedure. The precision from reproducibility study is usually lower than those obtained from the ruggedness studies. This is expected because there is a greater variability of the experimental conditions and staff training among multiple laboratories. Accuracy versus precision. There is a clear distinction between accuracy and precision when dealing with and interpreting analytical results. Having a high degree of precision does not necessarily indicate a high degree of accuracy. It is possible to have one without the other or to have neither or to have both. This is illustrated in the figure shown here where figure A depicts the instance of a relatively high degree of precision in an analytical measurement with no accuracy. In the target of figure A, the results are bunched together indicating that the measurement has a good level of repeatability but the average of these results will be far from the true value which is represented by the center or bull's eye of the target. In the figure B, the average of the results will fall close to the true value. However, the repeatability of the measurements contain a large degree of scatter. This instance helps also to illustrate the tendency in analytical testing where the greater the number of the measurements that are made will help to obtain a more accurate average result although there is a high level of scatter in the data. Finally, figure C depicts the case where both accuracy and precision exist in the measured results. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the accuracy and precision. In the next lesson, we will discuss the significant figures. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.